Real quick before we get started, I want to try to make this brief, but two things I want to talk about just to get ahead of uh, some things that might happen here as a result of me posting this. I'm calling it the best axe in the game. As far as I know, it is the best axe in the game for elemental axe attack conversion builds. It's going to be the best axe in the game. Uh, even a six times tier one fizz axe converting to Ellie, even a six times tier one Ellie axe, or Ellie axe, just regular Ellie axe, it's going to be better than both of those with the Squire setup. And with Crucible, we can get up to a 13 link with it. So, which is what we're going to do eventually. The other thing is, yeah, why did I craft this? I wanted to make a build with it. I knew nobody else was going to make this axe. Um, it's a mirror tier axe for sure. Uh, I didn't craft it for the purposes of getting mirror to mirror fees off of it or anything like that. It was just a min max build I wanted to do because I thought it was cool. So that's the only reason I crafted it. And it's something for me to spend all my currency on. Well, some of you guys might not understand why I did it. That's okay. I don't really care. But that's why I wanted to do it. It was just something I wanted to do and something I want to spend my money into because I'm a melee enjoyer and I think uh, running around and hitting mobs with a big uh, axe is pretty cool. Okay, and that out of the way, let's get into the craft. We're doing it. The best axe in the game. Mirror's getting spent. Yep, mirror's getting spent. We still haven't sold one, but that's the first thing we're going to do. I've got everything else ready. I've got everything else ready. I bought... This should be mathematically enough exalts. This also should be enough Anals. We have enough Awakener's Orbs. We have close to enough Blue Life Force. We might have to buy more depending on how that goes. And we have close to enough Sacred Life Force, mathematically speaking. So in this step, we're Awakener's Orbing the Axes together. One has a Shaper mod, which is Socket Attacks deal 40% more attack damage, and the other axe, the Elder Axe, is going to have Socket Attacks are supported by level 20 Ruthless. We're combining them together, and we're trying to get an axe that looks like this. First mirror selling right now. Where is it? Make sure I don't get scammed here. 348, that's... How many bars is that? 100, 200, 300, 48. Looks good to me. All right, so in this step, we're getting the axe ready for the next step, basically. So we have to set up the prefixes and suffixes the way we want. Basically, we just want an open suffix and an open prefix. We need the open prefix for our next prefix mod to land, which is going to be elemental damage with attacks. Looking for a level 20 elemental damage with attacks, and we need an open suffix to craft prefixes cannot be changed. So we're just annulling and trying to get the axes ready for the next step. We should end up with an axe that looks something like this. Changed. Then reforge influence reforge influence here we go first one this is where it starts getting interesting guys uh we did not hit it i right, guess so this next step we're just doing a reforge influence with harvest to try to hit our third prefix level 20 elemental damage with attacks and the end result should look like this Reforge Influence. What do we hit? Wait, we hit it. Oh my god, we hit it. <laughs> we hit it like first time, dude. It's level 18 though. Hmm. Do we try with the rest of ours to go for a level 20? We hit it second second axe, guys. <laughs> we hit our we hit our prefixes second axe. And the suffixes aren't full. What do we do now, guys? I think we go for a level 20. It's a level 18 element of damage attacks. Try for 20? Hold on. Maybe I'll do a... Uh... Jeez, dude. That was so easy. Do we want to go... Oh, man. I'm so, I'm so torn now. Do we go for a 20? Because we have so many more axes to try. Change... Two divines each time. We got the assembly line going now. <laughs> Reforge influence. Uh, let's see. Plus one melee gems. 
That's an attack mod? Come on, dude. Come on, dude. I think plus one melee gem shouldn't be an attack mod. Uh, nothing here. This is savable. Yeah, this is savable. Uh, this is also savable. This one we could just go again on, actually. We don't even need to do anything to it. Level 20! <laughs> Holy shit, that's okay. Prefixes are done. We hit two axes in like 10 attempts. Level 20, guys. <laughs> what the fuck, man? It's a 1 in like 35. It's like a 1 in 35 to hit that. Alright, so now prefixes are done, and we're basically just doing suffixes with the old Chris Wilson method here, which is just prefixes cannot be changed, to divine craft, exalt slam, exalt slam, scouring orb, do it again. So, we do have a little bit more nuance to the method as we're crafting on an, an accuracy, strength, and dexterity roll on our suffix to block some things when we slam, and then we're putting the prefixes can't be changed back on, and then scouring. So to hit the first slam, it is a 1 in 15, and then to hit the second slam, it's a 1 in 23. So the odds aren't that bad. We're trying to hit either crit damage with multi-strike or crit strikes or really just two of those three. Crit strikes, level 20 crit strikes, level 20 crit damage, level 20 multi-strike. Now obviously we'll take level 18 as well, but we're trying to hit two out of those three mods, any two out of those three. We'll take, we'll take any of those options. So like I said, it's a one in 15 to hit the first exalt slam. And then depending on what you hit on the second exalt slam, you can kind of save it and get another chance to slam it again sometimes. Uh, I'm not going to show too much footage of us doing this because it was three hours of doing this, um, at least. I think it was maybe four, and pretty much all our currency got spent into doing this. So I'll show you guys a little bit of how this went. Nice, nice, bro. I just want to see this done. Uh, yeah, man, me too. 100, 200, 348. All right, cool. Cool. All right, we, we're good to go again. We're good to go again, guys. Prefixes cannot be changed, Scour. Oof. Prefixes cannot be changed, Scour. Leading and attack speed. Prefixes cannot be changed. Scour. Accuracy. Slam. Fucking poison. Chance to poison. I hate that thing. Slam. And ancestral call. We hit another five link axe. Not the right one, though. I think we'll get it, though. We'll get it. Fire res. Multi strike. We got multi strike. And we can save it. Alright, we got another chance here, guys. Gonna roll attack mods. Come on. Come on. Crit damage, crit strikes. What do we hit? Ah, bleeding. How many chances have we had, guys? It's been like so... We've had so many chances to hit it. So we got a lot more to go here. We got a whole other mirror to spend. Um, we're chilling, man. We're hard chilling. Let's see if we can save this one, though. Take off bleeding. Took off crafted mod. Minus two divines. Bleeding. Took off crafted mod. Bleeding. Ah, uh, took off multi-strike. It's, it's not that bad statistically, it's really not. But we've been unlucky, we've been unlucky. It's okay though. All right, we can maybe save it, we can maybe save it. We got a 50-50 we got and all. Come on, take off that crit strike, that, that crit chance. Please, please, please. We, t we saved it, we saved it. We get another shot, we get another shot. Uh, Accuracy, accuracy. All right, we're going, we're going for the blue one, the blue one. Reduce stun threshold. We can save it again. We've had like five more chances here. It's a 1 in 23. Cannot roll attack mods. Took off the crafted mods. It's fine. Try again. Alright. Accuracy. We're going for the blue one. We're going for the blue one. Alright, come on. Come on. Multi-strike or crit strikes. 
Oh, we hit reduced attribute requirements. All right, we're still alive. We're still alive. Can I roll attack mods? Takes off crafting mod. Takes off crafting mod. Takes off the crafting mod. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on. Oh, it's four times in a row, dude. Come on. There we go. There we go. Accuracy. We just wasted. We just wasted the bad RNG. We just wasted the bad RNG. That's good. That's good. All right. Crit strikes. Multi strike. Here we go. Here we go. What do we hit? What do we hit? Mame. Mame. You mother. Mame. It's all level twenty still. All right. We're getting. We're getting more divines. We're getting more divines. Mirror of Calandra. One, two, three, forty-nine. All right, last mirror sold. I didn't want to end up here, but here we are. Attribute requirements, damage over time multiplier. <sighs> you ran of elk? Oh my god, yeah, dude, I had like two thousand something elks too. <laughs> Stream client dead? Yeah, my I never had stream client dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. It never existed. Accuracy. We could still do it guys, don't give up, don't give up. Damage of bleeding. Hello again, we're still on it. Oh my god. Yeah, we're, we're still on it, dude. We're almost out of all our money, though. I haven't checked lately, but I'm pretty sure we're getting close to around 100 divines left. Uh, we beat someone's ass having on the last divine? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, man. It's not a... Attack individual dual wielding. Just regular attack speed. Come on, get us back in the game, man. Get us back in the game here. Put us in, coach. We can do it. We can do it, man. Attribute requirements, stun threshold. Lock while dual wielding, crit chance of you killed. Onslaught and ancestral call. It's actually insane. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. Accuracy. Crit strikes. All right, guys, we're back in it. We're back in it. We got crit strikes. Oh, oh man. <laughs> we got crit strikes. Multi strike or crit damage. Please, Chris Wilson. Please. We did it. We did it, guys. It's done. It's done. We hit it. We hit it. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man. It's done. It's done. Money. <laughs> How much money do I have left? Hell yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm starting to get a little sad, guys. I think you saw. I was starting to get a little sad. Oh my god. We did it. Now Ashling for third suffix. <laughs> you guys are you guys are crackheads. <laughs> oh my god! Wow, it's beautiful. Actual best axe in the game, guys. Actual best axe in the game. We did it. Oh my god! I didn't think it was gonna be possible.
Okay, so here is the finished result. We did end up hitting it in the end. We got a level 20 multi-strike with a level 18 crit strikes, which is pretty good, actually. If you want to get a level 18 gem, crit strikes doesn't really affect your overall damage as long as you can cap your crit still. So that's probably the best thing to have a lower level if you're going to hit a lower level gem. And yeah, so next thing next thing we got to do, guys, is the crucible tree on it. Uh, we're going to do that next over the next day or two. Hopefully we can get it done before then. Uh, I want fortify on it. I want behead support on it. And then two good first nodes. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to go for on the first two nodes yet. I'm going to look into that tonight. And yeah, that's going to be it. Um, if you are interested in mirroring this, that's not really why I made the axe. But obviously, I'm not going to say no. If somebody wants to mirror it, I'll probably do like a 50 divine fee. Keep it real cheap. Uh, we're not going to do anything crazy. But yeah let me know get in contact me and join the discord um and yeah that's gonna do it for this one and thanks for watching